Converse. The shoe. The bungler will never fail. <laughs> the bungler. I am the mouse. Oh, you don't like that one? <laughs> oh god, the caption is, After watching Shane's newest video, I'm questioning everything. Is everyone I know a sociopath? <laughs> no, that was just bad psychology. See, this is why I needed to tuck in my shirt the right amount. Okay. I like how he has eyelashes on his teeth. Stunning. Because I don't know if you, you know, watched to this point and been thinking, this is a pretty smart idea. But actually, when you're in it, and it's three weeks of your life and you miss your girlfriend and you miss your apartment and your uh, bed and your life, it starts to become, what's the word? Um, stupid, fucking, dumb, idiot, dumbo idea. Subsection R, steel erection. Is that a Garfield duck? because God has cursed me for my hubris and my work is never finished. Considering that step one of the longification procedure is um, removing her from her mortal flesh. I'm gonna focus on school, tell people I love them. What does that have to do with, what is that? Lip gloss? I'm a hip teen, I know things. It's gonna be 90 degrees in New York City today. And even with air conditioning, uh, it just means that I'm gonna be in a constant state of slightly sweaty. I am ready to perform the surgery. This is my fishbowl baby. I mean, yeah, we all have a fishbowl baby. I ask myself, is there an analogous military that is somewhat bloated, often antagonistic, and seems to be the only thing that the leadership cares about funding? Unfortunately, I couldn't find any real life examples of this. So I'm loosely basing it on the US military. That is not who I wanted to be in middle school. I just wanted to wear these really ugly fishnet gloves I got from Claire's, but my mom wouldn't let me because she thought it was a fetish thing. That's who I wanted to be in middle school. Ain't nothing bad ever happened on this bed. I'm talking no felonies. Sex on this bed? Never heard of it. What is it? No one has ever explained it to me. Great, great, great start. I was shocked to find that there were people there and they were enjoying themselves. They also had fish? Something mysterious and possibly illegal was going on here, and I was sure of it. My question is, did they come dressed up in those clothes, or did you, like, dress them up in weird little doll clothes? Also, the baby? I think they're capturing my heart, too. At first I was like, what the hell is that? But no, I think they're capturing my heart, too. Peachy feelings. What does that mean? They come to me in my dreams like a prophet receiving visions from an angry god. Those are very cool. What bones are those? They look vaguely like uh, this vertebrae that I have that someone sent me. I like them very much. I love it. Which is to say that I was so passionate about ice cream that I was willing to give up my mortal life in order to do it. I would say most of you are probably already familiar with my son. Thursday Plurbin and Boy Porridge. Well, for those of you who don't follow me on other social media, this is my daughter. Her name is Gluten-Free Garbadine Girl Girl. This lady, I want to get in good oh, graces no, with, no, but no, she... No, no. Everybody shut up. And a long furby called Last Will and Testament. Oh, that's such a good name. <laughs> hey, uh, why do you have two beds? How embarrassing! I'm only somewhat called out by this. I sure as heck don't listen to the Beatles and then call it has really good music taste. Um, but I am guilty of wearing black. Y'all remember those things? Those little rules that keep you from committing war crimes? I'm taking him to one of the MCR concerts next month and I'm working on making him a little t-shirt for it. Oh my goodness, he's wet. He's so, I'm, I can show you, I can just put a better image on the screen for you to look at, but I'm just like, you hey, look at him, he's so wet. He's such a little damp boy. When you have an ice cream maker, the world is your oyster. You could make oyster ice cream, and I won't stop you. I can't stop you. No one can. Yeah, I think this is gonna set gay rights back a few decades, personally. How much paint do you think I can eat in public before the cops get called? There's not enough context here for me to answer this question. That's a complicated one. I'm gonna say depends how hard you try to conceal the paint. Okay, travel mug, you're golden, chugging it straight from the paint tin. Still depends where you are, I think, because if I saw that on the bus in Toronto, I would mind my business. Yeah, I think I'm confident in this answer. Although, I will say, even if you did conceal your paint drinking habits really well, you would probably still eventually pass the fuck out from drinking paint. So... It's almost like we have an imposter. Hank, no! Keith! No! Oh my god, who's, who's shooting? Who's shooting? They're taking out everybody! Keith! No, Germa! Ah! You with me? Linguini, no! Linguini, no! Linguini, no! Oh my god. Oh my god. 
I'm trapped. What? Who's there? The mouse, is that you? I'm trapped. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay. 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 No. Oh, oh. Okay. All right. Are you okay? Are you okay? I am the mouse. No! <laughs> Witnessing a fucking actual sniper <laughs> on my location. By the way, can I just say, killing literally everybody except me. This Rainforest Cafe is like actually a cool spot to eat. That doesn't really make sense to me. I'm supposed to be in a mall and depressed. I'm not quite clear on what he is. A spider? The lid is only labeled baby's first taxidermy. 